not just a sponsor of your team, but also a fan. Phones you want, service you deserve. Prairie Mobile, your SaskTel authorized dealer. How you feeling two days away, whatever, from leaving? Uh, I'm getting pretty excited now. I think uh, my sights are still set on that Swift Current game in a couple of days here, but we had a couple of good days of rest. I think that everyone really needed after that long trip, and now it's kind of just focusing on practice and the game in the next couple of days here, and then get ready to leave. But I'm getting really excited. Well, you are going to play on Wednesday then. Yeah, I think so. That's a plan right now. You know, I haven't heard anything other than that, but I don't see why not. Do you find yourself sitting on the bench during these games and maybe daydreaming about what's coming up? Not really. I mean, we've had some pretty good game, pretty good games, and pretty big games the last couple of games, like Brandon twice and Kelowna. So it's not like you can really. You know, have your mind on anything else, but um, no, maybe, maybe that'll happen a bit in Swift Current, but I doubt it. You know, I'm pretty excited for that game as well. What's been the secret to this team's success? I mean, there was a new coaching staff. You got a lot of young guys. Yet you guys are on pace right now, eight games above 500. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, we got a lot of young guys that are contributing. You know, it's, there's a lot of teams in this league that bring young guys in that just kind of play their role and just kind of show up and put the gear on. But we got young guys that are contributing, and we got our older guys playing. You know, some of the best hockey they've ever been playing. So. You, know, you got four lines that can score, and you're a good defensive team with everyone who, who wants to buy in and just plays and has fun. That's a pretty good recipe, and it's been working pretty well for us. Is this the best uh, team as far as spreading out scoring that you've been on with Regina Pass? For sure. I think you know it allows, I'm not going to say lines, but certain guys to maybe have not the best night, and the team still has a chance to win. And you know, you've seen that a couple times on that road trip where maybe myself or you know other guys might not have had their best games, but there's other guys that are contributing. So it definitely takes the load off. The guys that play the most minutes, it's pretty it's pretty even. But the guys that play the most minutes, if they, if they don't have their best game, there's other guys there to bail them out. What does it mean to get those back-to-back wins against Brandon finally? Yeah, that's <laughs> huge. I think just to beat them once well, it was nice. But then to go in there and beat them in that barn is something that I think we've only done once in my time here in the regular season. So that's, that's something that's pretty special. And, you know, they're a good team. So it just shows that we are playing that well. I know you're going to say you're just going to be yourself at this camp kind of thing. But what yeah. does Morgan Klimchuk have to do to make this club? I think uh, I got to play a very versatile game. You know, I'm going in there anticipating they're going to play me in a lot of different situations and a lot of different roles. So I just got to make the most of whatever situation I'm playing and you know, not just going in there trying to be a scorer or a shutdown guy. It's kind of got to be a multi-tool guy that can, that can play in any of those situations, like I said. But you know, I'm just anticipating to, to go in there and play in those situations and just show what I can do. Do you feel that you're in an elite class when it comes to the versatility then? Uh, yeah, I do think that's one of my biggest strengths. And we had meetings in the summer, and they asked, you know, what do you think you could bring to this team? And that's what I said. And I think that's what I'll continue to say is that I can play anywhere in the lineup, penalty kill power play, and that's something that I take a lot of pride in and definitely one of my strengths going into that camp. The fact that you do that with this team all the time now makes that a pretty easy transition to do whatever they want. Yeah, and even playing the right side, I've been playing the right side a lot now, and that just adds another tool in my toolbox that you know I'm very proud of because there wasn't a lot of right wingers invited to that camp, so if they throw me on the right side now, I feel pretty comfortable. And yeah, like you said, I've been playing in a lot of situations on this team for a long time, so penalty kill, power play, left wing, right, right wing, I'm excited for any of it. A lot of people like to make a big deal about this team's offense and speed, but every time post game, you guys like to talk about the lack of goals against and even strength. You take just as much pride as a team on your defense. Yeah, we do for sure. And you know, from a coaching standpoint, right down down to us, that's something that I wouldn't say we we stressed on too much. You know, we we covered the basics, and the guys just really bought in from day one. It hasn't really been a problem. So that's what you need. And we we are one of the best teams five on fives for goals against, and we're just looking to keep it that way, going, continuing the season here and going into Swift Current. Uh, Braden was saying that kind of led to a bit of a change in philosophy in the way maybe you guys aren't going for the big hit, but you're staying more in position and playing stronger in the neutral zone rather than just trying to play in one end. Yeah, and that's, I think, John's pro experience coming back here. I think when I drove back from Brandon with him that one day, that was kind of from the Super Series. That's one of the things we talked about is the biggest difference between pro and junior is how guys are way better with their stick. And I think you can see the maturity in our team from that standpoint where in junior guys do run around a bit, but on our team, you know, we're looking to get the puck and we're looking to keep the puck, not puck, knock it out of position and lay a hit. So I think that really shows that we get the puck a lot more using our sticks and we keep it and we have been scoring a lot. So it's been working.